Alright, so what we got here is a variable ND filter. It's kind of like sun shades for cameras. That's what it is. It's a neutral density filter. I'm going to use this to essentially lower the shutter speed. It's trying to do it itself with the shutter by raising the shutter speed. So the higher the shutter speed, the quicker it is, the less light's going to come through. So that's how it does the exposure for the image to not look blown out. But what we could do is physically put a filter on there. And uh, it's variable. Usually you want like individual lenses, one at 4, 8, 16, 32 if you're going crazy. But this one, what you're going to do is it just spin it to the ND you need and it gets darker as you can see. Um, there's no gauges on this damn thing to tell me what level is what, but you know, just going to have to try it, fly, bring it back down and adjust it and try it again. So on there there's a UV filter. We're going to go ahead and take remove that first so we can actually put on the ND filter. There we go. Mind you, we had to use um, some plastic gloves in order to actually take the uh, filter off. It's kind of tight on there. So there you have it. It's basically a UV filter inside of a, I don't know what that is, a ring, plastic, aluminum, no clue. Anyway, go ahead and slip this on right where that one came from. Lock it in tight. Oh, okay, that feels like it's slipping. Yeah, feels like it's slipping a little bit. I'll go ahead and back this off a little. Whoop. There I can see the DJI logo a little bit. And it's a little bit heavier, which, ha, huh, you don't really want to have your gimbal um, center of gravity to be off like that. But I'm pretty sure it's strong enough to um, counter that. The motors are strong enough, but. Knee filter on. The uh, shutter speed is actually lower. It's at one one hundredth of a second, um, which is closer to what we want it to be. Um, I'm gonna switch the video here, and yeah, one one sixtieth of a second. And we can try to get it a little lower to adjust it a little lower by uh, tapping the screen to where the maybe the dark, the lighter shades at, and it'll oh, or darker shades that I should say, and it'll try to expose the image so that. You know it'll be a better match to the frame rate um or we could stop down on the actual nd the variable nd to a darker setting and that will also lower it um if you do it too dark what will happen is it'll go below what is the recommended shutter speed for somebody recording at 60 frames per second and uh what the footage will look like is a little bit too blurry so the lower the shutter speed the more blurry your footage will be um, and the higher the shutter speed, the more like sharper each frame in the in, in the video will be. Um, lower shutter speed might work better for low light situations, um, and the higher shutter speed basically works for a high light situation where it's like sun out. But it also for video makes the footage too damn sharp and jumpy. Sandy before we start looking at the monitor but yeah so you see the image is a little bit brighter um, and we're at yeah one one hundredth of a second still recording at uh, uh, 60 frames per second the ISO did go up though we can adjust this manually but oh it's a little windy getting a little windy Britain. getting a little windy out there love when the wind just kicks in out of nowhere. Hopefully the sun will block the wind. So I, I mean, not the sun, the truck. <laughs> but anyway, so the ND filter is allowing us to get a better image, a smoother image. And, uh, oh. And we'll watch it back to see oh. if, oh, oh, oh. Of that. She ain't even look. <laughs> we'll watch it back to see if the image is any different and if the gimbal is shaking. It's very windy right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and land, land it and uh, go on about our business. 